congratulations, guys. Congratulations, Tommy, Josh, and Shaky. We can start with you, Shaky. Is that a lonely race for you? Um, I don't know if lonely is the way to describe it, to be honest. I mean, uh, it was a it was a strange race, and um, if I'm perfectly honest with you, everything we've done this weekend has been uh, has been based around uh, the hard rear tyre, and uh, today being a bit warmer, the the Pirelli guys advised us that 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 wasn't going to work, and we had to run the zero. Now, obviously, we had done some some qualifying laps yesterday down the zero, but that was my first long run, so I had I had no idea how it was going to go, but. Um, you know, we got got a fairly decent start and settled straight in in sort of second, second I think, and then you passed me, didn't you? Did you pass me? Yeah, I think Tommy passed me. Um, and then Tommy went to, you know, on the front and, and set a really, really good pace. And I thought, right, okay. I was like half a second, sometimes closer to Josh, just, just sort of sat there. And then Tommy went up the road a little bit and I kind of sat with Josh and I thought, well, you know, let's let's not drive ourselves too mad in the beginning, just in case I've got nothing left at the end. And uh, as it turned out, I didn't drive myself mad, and I had nothing left at the end anyway. So, um, yeah, we need to uh, we need to work on the bike a little bit for race two to uh, to try and make the zero work better for us. Um, but all in all, I'm quite happy. I mean, the the pace that that Tommy and Josh set then was was incredible. You know, lap record after lap record. Even I was doing them on my own in, in third place, and I was thinking, blimey. Yeah, you know, can't can't possibly keep this up, but they did. So uh, obviously we need to work harder for race two. But great job on my team for the you know giving me a bike to get to third now, and, and fingers crossed we'll go one or two better next race. Congratulations, Shaky. Thank all you. All credits, all helps. And turning to Milwaukee Yamaha's Josh Brooks. Congratulations, Josh. Josh on another podium, <coughs> and uh, you pushed Tommy all the way there, right to the last lap. Yeah, it, uh, I actually right from the from the go, I uh, I, I sort of bodged up the lights a bit. I guess, uh, I, I don't know why, the whole, uh, everything seemed to go into slow motion. I seen the lights go out and I just, I just didn't go, it just didn't happen. And, uh, and I sort of had, like, I, don't, I didn't see who it was, but I had like three riders around me and I sort of just floated into the first turn in, in an ideal sort of line and, and, it, and it gave me the, the lead. So I was like, oh, lucky I, I sort of got away with that. And, um, and then, yeah, within the first lap, Tommy had, uh, had come past. So. Um, initially, I was uh, interested to see, you know, I haven't raced with Tommy this year yet, so I was interested to see how his bike would perform and stuff like that. So um, and immediately I could see that he's spinning the tyre a lot, and I thought, oh, that's not going to it's not gonna last. So I kind of lost a bit of ground to him and then started to catch back up, and I thought, oh, I'll just sit here and see if I can force a, a mistake. And But then I started to lose a bit of grip in, in my own tyres, so we kind of deteriorated at the same rate. And uh, so I sort of had to, um, at that point, uh, change change my plan. You know, the, the end, uh, the laps coming towards the end, I wasn't going to find myself getting stronger. It was it was sort of just trying to, to maintain the, the same lap times. and. Um, you know, I could see Tommy was sort of running wide in a few corners, but I, I was having the same trouble. So uh, there wasn't any uh, opportunity to, to make an advantage. And um, so uh, credit to credit to Tommy riding a, a brilliant race, and uh, we'll have to look at where we can improve to to I improve our position in race two. Congratulations, Josh! On the second, I think you'll start pole as well on the uh, second race. Yeah. Uh, congratulations. And turning to Tycho BMW's. Uh, Tommy Bible, Tommy, congratulations on the race. As, uh, as Josh said, you ran a brilliant race. How did it feel? <laughs> yeah, it makes a change. Um, normally, I'm sat in behind these guys, following them for the race, and uh, out of breath, struggling to hold on, you know. But um, I think, you know, it's all credit to the Tyco team, really. The Tyco BMW, it worked phenomenal. They, uh, we struggled the first couple of rounds because we kept having to run the hard tyre. Um, and I knew where I was losing. Every, you know, for instance, it, it Brands Hatch, I had no option to. But, but to run the hard tyre in. And we kept losing um, drive and stuff. So <coughs> we've worked a, a good plan out for, for running the zero. Um, we ran the zero in the race. I knew I knew it would last. Um, and I know I could do them sort of lap times the whole race. Um, it was good fun. I enjoyed it. If I'm honest, I, I just raced my lap timer. Um, I was watching my board and watching Josh's board and watching Stuart's and Shaky's board at the same time, thinking, right, OK. And then I saw on Josh's board plus one, one second. So I thought I knew it was only us two out front, you know. So um, it was just a matter of, you know, trying to keep smooth, um, trying to conserve the tyre as much as I could. But that all went out the window. So it was just sideways and holding on for dear life, really. But, um, you know, credit to the team. You know, it's, you know, I keep my feet on the floor if I can. But, you know, it's, um, if I'm honest, it's probably one of the strongest races I've ever rode. So uh, if we can do um, do that again in race two, I, 
I can put my hands up, I haven't got any any more speed. You know, that's the sort of pace I can run in race two. So if it's good enough for the win in race two again, then then mega. If it's if it's not, then you know I think we've um, we've had a good good do it.